my YouTube friends. Oops, sorry about that. Must have had something off for lunch. Custom alerts just add that extra special touch to your live stream. And it's because you can create something that no one else has. But in the past, it's been a huge pain in the butt to create custom alerts. And most people just paid to have somebody else do it. But today, I'm gonna to show you a process where you can create free custom alerts in like about 10 minutes using totally free tools. We got a lot to get to, so we're gonna jump right in. So you know what? Let's get to it! The first thing we're gonna do is use OBS as a recording tool to record our custom alerts. I'm pretty sure you already have OBS on your system and running, so let's jump right in. Okay, so I don't have any of the background lights turned on, and that's because we're gonna do some green screen work. We're gonna use software to remove our background, and in order to do that, we're going to use the NVIDIA background removal tool. But there are a bunch of different tools that you can use to remove your background with software in OBS. So if you want to check out a video that tells you how to do it, it's right up here. All we need to do is right click on our camera and go into filters. We're going to click this plus and we're going to go to the NVIDIA background removal tool. Click OK and boom, our background is now removed as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus here and I'm going to add a color source and we're just going to go and select a green color. Make sure it's nasty green. There we go, click OK, and we'll just move this below our camera, and boom, now our background is removed. Now, you wanna make sure you're not wearing any green for this, it just makes life a lot easier. Now you just kind of record whatever it is that you wanna record, thumbs up, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you wanna record as your alert is perfectly fine. You can also use audio if you like. I'm not gonna use any audio. We're gonna add a different type of audio to it later, so for now, I'm just gonna kinda give it the thumbs up, maybe film a couple of different ones so that we have a variety. We can use different ones for subscriber, donation, and super chat, or whatever we wanna do. Now, as far as length goes, you can go anywhere from like two to five seconds. It really depends on how long you want these things to be on your screen. I'm personally gonna go with about three seconds. Now, the next free tool we're gonna use is going to remove our green screen background and edit our clips so we have our little alert snippets. To do that, we're gonna use DaVinci Resolve. There is a link in the description down below so you can click on that, download it, and follow along. That is the best way to learn. This is gonna be very quick and easy. Near the end, I'm also going to use a program called Shutter Encoder, also free, also link in the description. Let's jump right in. Now we're gonna open DaVinci Resolve. We can just select Untitled Project. We wanna go right over here to the editing piece and we'll just drag our stuff in here. So I've got my alert recordings. We'll go ahead and drag that in there and we can just drag it down to the timeline. Now the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and remove the background from this and then we can cut our little clips out. So in order to remove the background, first we're gonna go up here to Filters and we'll just select here and make sure we're in OpenFX and we're gonna search for all you have to do is type 3 and you've got this 3d keyer we'll just drag this down here you notice it didn't do anything next we're gonna go here and we're going to select open FX overlay and then over here we're just gonna click here and select that and you can see we've got a little bit of a green outline chances are you won't even really see that but we can clean that up if we go down here to matte finesse and what we're gonna do is adjust our in and out focus and we'll just pull this down like that and we'll just move this black up a little bit and there we go so now we've got our black totally black everything is removed we should be in pretty good shape so now we just need to really cut our clips the way we want them so now we've got three clips we're gonna move this all the way back here we're gonna right click on the timeline go to mark in and then what I'm gonna do is click here and right click and mark out and that means that this is what's gonna be exported so now we're gonna go over into export and what I'm gonna do is just name this one call it thumbs up and we're gonna go to browse and wherever we're gonna save this then we've got quick time here is what we want right so select quick time here in color we want to select uncompressed it's all the way at the bottom and then here we're gonna select a BGRA 8-bit right there and then you want to make sure 
that you have export alpha checked and we're going to add it to the render queue render it out real quick and i'm just going to go in here and place my stuff right at the beginning of here mark in go to the end right click mark out and i'm going to do the same thing in this particular one we'll call it big thanks and all of our settings are the same so we just want to add it to the render queue render it out and then i'm going to go back into here we're going to do the same thing i'm going to go to the beginning mark in go to the ending right click in the timeline mark out and then back over here we'll call this point thanks there we go well make sure that all these settings are right and add it to the render queue render it out the next thing we want to do is just optimize these three clips so I'm going to go ahead and open Shutter Encoder. It's totally free. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. And we're going to go here. We're going to select VP9. And we're going to go over here and select our advanced features. And we just want to make sure that we enable the alpha channel right here. And then all we have to do is drag our clips in here. So we've got big thanks. And we've got point thanks. And we've got thumbs up. Boom. And so all we have to do now is click on start function and it's going to encode those three videos as WebMs. And all we have to do now is set up our alerts. I'll bet you that was easier than you thought it was. Well, it's even easier to create these alerts and we're going to use stream elements to do that. Once again, free tool link in the description. Let's create our alerts. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and log into stream elements. And I've done a bunch of videos on how to do this. This might be the page you come to might not be once you're logged in though, we want to go down here to our streaming tools and we're going to select elements. This tool is going to let us create our own custom alerts really easily. So we're going to select new element and start from scratch. And over here is pretty much where everything is. Uh, we're going to set up our tip right here and you can, change the amount so uh less so greater than 50 less than five bucks whatever you want to set in here so basically greater than five dollars greater than fifty dollars or other you can add as many of these as you want you can change the amounts by going into edit dropping this down change the amount or the name so we're just going to do one for other that'll be for everything and then we just go over here to our message text title main asset and we want to go to our main asset. We're going to click replace assets. We'll go to my uploads and upload new. And what I'm going to do is just select our WebM versions. So big thanks and click save. And you can see it pops it in there. We're just going to go ahead and size it up and move it. And there we go. So now you can edit or modify all of the text. We can go in here to the message, which is this piece at the bottom. We can change the font to whatever font we want. We can adjust the size of that font so we can make it whatever we want here. We can change the color. We can add highlights. We can add stroke and shadow to any of these. And we can do the same thing with the text, which is this tipped $1. We can change all of these up. We can change and adjust the fade in fade out times. We can adjust the title as well. So we have the ability to change any of these things up. And then what we do is go down here and preview it to see if we're getting what we want. So how long do the words last and all that stuff? And you can see they're going a little longer than we want them to. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go with fade out and we're gonna go with 0.4 and we're gonna do the same thing on our text and our message. So it's four seconds, let's see what happens. So maybe we want it actually a little shorter than that. It looks like we're about three seconds on the video. So we'll go and change these to three seconds. Message, text, and title are all three seconds. And then we preview it. And see what we get and that looks pretty good that's fine that's what we want so we have previewed that one we can do a different one for subscribed so here we just go and we're gonna change our main asset and we'll go to uploads and all we have to do is go to new upload and let's do this one right here and for some reason it put two there doesn't matter and we'll make this bigger and move it right here and there we go so now we can change all the text all the other same stuff we're going to preview this and see how this comes up you can see that it's actually delaying the text a little bit and fading out pretty late so what we're going to do is go in here to our text and we don't want any delay so zero and we're going to do 
three seconds right here and title same thing no delay and three seconds and we'll preview that all right so that's working pretty well we can do the same thing with pretty much all of these so all we have to do is click add stats right here and we can add membership super chat merch purchases, widget events, all kinds of very, very cool stuff. We can also add foreground and background to this. And what I didn't show you right here is if we wanted to add sound to this, we can just click add sound. We can do text to speech. So when we go back over here where we actually have a message, well, if we wanted to add sound, we could go text to speech and we can type in a message that we want or we could just type the slashy and it's going to uh, give us some information so we can go here and just select message and basically what that's going to do is it's going to go text to speech and read this message out it's very simple to set these up if we didn't want to go text to speech we don't have to we could come in here and delete that and we're gonna go and add a sound and we'll go to audio and then we can click here to select the sound and there are just so many cool sounds that you can pick yeah you just play them to see what you want so I could select this and save and now when we preview it There you go. That's what we get. We can go and edit this and we'll just call this custom and boom and save it. So once you save your alert name and you do all that stuff, we can go into publish and it tells you that your custom alert is ready to use. Custom, of course, being the name of our alert and it'll give you information on how to use it on anything. We're going to go with OBS and we just copy our URL. Now we have to do is go into OBS and set this up. Okay, so here in OBS, for any scene that you want to add alerts to, all you have to do is click the plus and we're going to go to browser and we'll just call this custom alert and we're going to click OK and then all we have to do is paste that in now 800 by 600 is fine because that's what it set up the alerts in and we want to control audio via OBS because we did add audio to that one alert now we just click OK it's going to disappear we can place this red box anywhere we want so we can put it up here and now all we have to do is test our alert see how it works and we're going to just click the X so in order to preview our events, all we have to do is go to the view designer and we're going to go to simulate and it brings us in here and then you just select the event that you want to simulate. In this case, we'll do tipped. Doesn't matter on the amount and we can just do simulate and we're going to see it right there. And there we go. We also did one for subscribed so we can simulate that and this one didn't have any audio. So there we go. It's really that simple. We can take this and move it around. Stream Elements has made it so freaking easy to create custom alerts. You don't have to use videos like I did, or you could use videos where you use Snap Camera, or you could use cartoons. Whatever you want as your custom alert, now you can do it really easily. And you know, if you're messing around with AI, it makes it even easier to create really cool custom alerts that your live stream is just gonna go crazy for. Now I don't need to tell you, you can basically create all kinds of absolutely crazy things using your own clips that you create or using someone else's clips, using cartoon clips, any one of the other clip sites out there that you can download clips to create custom alerts that are going to be just amazing. What type of custom alerts are you going to make? Let me know about it down in the comments. I can't wait to see them. And if you want to see the OBS plugins that I never stream without, you should check this video out. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.